Hey, Em, how's it going? Great, how are you? Excellent. Where are you these days? I am in Park City, Utah. Sweet. All right, well, I haven't been to Park City for a long time since I stopped bobsledding. So. I know, you should come back sometime. <laughs> I agree. Um, all right, we're going to jump right in. We've got questions from Twitter um, okay. for you to answer. We're going to rapid fire because you got a bunch. I pulled five of them, so we're just going to rapid fire through um, and try to get through Try to get through everybody. So um, okay. we'll start at the top of what I've got. Brandon, Perry at, Brandon Penny asked, uh, asked Emily Cook, why is it important for you to work with youth through Classroom Champions and Right to Play USA? Um, for me, you know, being an athlete, it's, it's kind of one track. Uh, we spend a lot of time paying attention to ourselves, paying attention to the details of, of getting better at our sport. But honestly, to have the opportunity to connect with youth all over the world, um, it's, it's the most rewarding thing that I do. Um, you know, I, I love my sport and I have so much fun doing it, but the platform that it gives me to make a difference is, is really the most rewarding thing to me about being an athlete. Um, you know, just, just seeing in these kids' faces, um, you know, what happens when they believe in themselves and when they, you know, find joy through playing sports and when they learn all these lessons through playing sports and interacting with the different athletes online. Um, it's, it's incredible and uh, it really just makes it all worth it. So I'm really thankful that I have the opportunity to do that. Awesome. And I promise I didn't plant that question. <laughs> <wasn't even> <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> Brandon. <laughs> all right. Um, Jen Rudruth, who you know, who you've gotten to know actually through Classroom Champions, one of your teachers. Um, she wants to know what does, what do you do to relax and unwind? Do you have any interesting hobbies? Thanks, Jen. Um, well, I think they're interesting. Well, um, I think balance is really important as an athlete. And a couple of the things that I do in order to relax and unwind as an athlete, um, I do yoga daily when I'm on the road. So I bring a yoga mat with me and some podcasts, and I do my own practice as well. And that, oh, nice. that really helps to kind of unwind me and, and get my head off of my sport a little bit. Um, I like to read a lot as well when I'm on tour and watch movies. Um, and when I'm home, I really like to go fishing with my dad um, and with my friends. And when I'm traveling, I like to surf, explore, see different cities. Um, and basically, I enjoy doing just about anything outside. So hiking, rock climbing, camping. What kind of fishing? Um, anything like that. I do fly fishing. I love it here in Utah. Yeah, Provo yeah, River is pretty amazing. All right. Yes, I know. That's really going to be my reason to go down there, not for bobsled or winter sport. We can go fishing. Can fly fishing. Perfect. <laughs> All right. Um, Heather Lee has asked, does anyone ever make her motion sick? Does that, sorry, does anything ever make her motion sick? Uh, roller coasters, airplanes, or is it a strong stomach, or is a strong stomach necessary to spin on skis? Um, I well, I actually had a teammate that got motion sickness from absolutely everything. Um, I'm not going to name any names here, but I don't get most. I don't get oh, most. You can call somebody out on here. It's only going up on the U.S. Olympic Committee's website. There's only. I'm not going to tell you. Who there's it only is. a few hundred million Americans that have access to it, plus anyone else. Two in the time, world. a two-time Olympian, and she got motion sickness when uh, surfing. So, awesome. but no, I don't get motion sickness. I love roller coasters. I think they're amazing, um, and I, yeah, I guess I'm. I really enjoy that kind of adrenaline rush type stuff. Good deal. Um, we've got Ray Bailey. And Ray's asks, what has been the single greatest challenge you faced while chasing your Olympic dream? Ooh, that's a good question. Um, I think the biggest challenge was uh, in 2002, I qualified for the Olympic Games here at home in Salt Lake City and was unable to participate because I broke both my feet. So really, that was just an incredibly um, devastating time for me. It was, it was so hard to get up every morning and go to physical therapy. But um, you know, to me, there was never a question and I had unfinished business and um, I wanted to get to Torino to the next Olympics so that was that was the hardest time for me for sure um, the recovery took three years but it really it turned me into the athlete that I am today um, it taught me that I can overcome just about anything that's that's put in my way and uh, it was definitely the biggest challenge but it was also the most uh, rewarding gift to be able to walk into that next Olymp um, opening ceremonies with the teammates and coaches who had supported me for so many years awesome good answer and uh, the last one, uh, during our little rapid fire here, Travis, yeah. Garrett, Travis Garris wants to know what importance do you place on the support system around you, emotional, financial, technical, and otherwise? I don't think it's possible to be an athlete on your own. We do um, participate, of course, in an individual sport. And when we're standing on the hill, we are seemingly up there by ourselves. But um, there's, there's absolutely no way that um, – there's just really no way that we could do it by ourselves. Uh, to me – the support system that I've had, you know, getting through that injury that I was just talking about or on a challenging day on the hill, um, you know, for example, when it's windy or when you've taken a crash and you really just need the people around you to support you to help you 
get to where you want to get, that's that's the most important thing in the world. So for me, my my teammates, my coaches, um, my sponsors, I've been with Visa for over 15 years, the U.S. Olympic Committee and um, the U.S. Ski Team, my friends and family. There's no way that I would be a two-time Olympian at this point um, at all without all of those people's support. And I really can't wait to continue sharing that with them on the rest of this journey here in the next uh, next year leading up to Sochi. I believe you. Good answer. <laughs> <laughs> thanks. All right, well, thanks so much. Thanks for the interview. Um, thanks for answering everybody's questions. We really appreciate it. And I will talk to you soon, I'm sure. Sure thing. And thanks so much for the questions. I really appreciate it. All right. See you.